Say, what's that? Is that you I smell? Yeah, you like it? Know what it is? Lysol? <laughs> no, it's a new cologne called Savage Beast. <laughs> well, who are you going out with tonight anyway? A water buffalo? <laughs> no, I'm go I got a date with Donna. Come over here and sit down, son, because she's going to be here in a minute. And it's something I want to talk to you about before she gets here. Now, look. I, 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 I'm, out of a, I'm out of a birthday present, and I think I ought to get something. So what you want, another pool table? No, not that. Then what? Well, cash is always nice. <laughs> cash? Yeah, you know, like that cash them burglars uh, dropped on the floor. Hey, Pop, that was house money. Now, I found that money in the house. It's house money. Yeah, but I, I ain't got no birthday present. Shouldn't I get something? <laughs> well, since it was your birthday and your present, I guess you're entitled to the money. Thank you. Thank you, Lamar. That's Donna and I. Ain't you got nowhere to go? Why don't you try to make yourself scarce? No. Nope. You ain't got nowhere to go? Nope. So, so somewhere. <laughs> Donna. Hello, Fred. Bye, honey. Hello, Lamar. Hello, Have a Donna. Seat. Uh, that's good. You look good, darling, too. Hey, listen, how should we start the evening? You want to begin by watching a little Walter Cronkite? <laughs> Television? But I thought we were going out to dinner and then to a movie. Well, you know, those restaurants are so expensive and it costs so much to go to the movie. Well, what difference does it make with all that money you got? What money? Oh, you didn't know? No. Pop just recently <laughs> fell into $75. Hours. <laughs> you just fell into $75? Well, come on, let's go out and celebrate. Come on. I hope you fall into something, dummy. <laughs> well, just don't go spending that money too soon, Pop, because we gotta think about this. You're right, son. Let's think about it. <laughs> That's long enough. Now, look. <laughs> Your dear departed cousin, George, has left you 7,000 big ones. And all you got to do is have a baby. Look, Pop, I know $7,000 is a lot of money, man, but the thing it's is... It's I... not just the money. See, it's things. It's, 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 it's a color TV. <laughs> it's a Playboy key. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a new truck. And it's 3,500 trips to the $2 window. <laughs> Not yet it isn't. Just listen to this. If the baby's not born within 12 months, the money will be distributed to charities benefiting black people in America. That money is not going to benefit any black people in America. That money is going to benefit us. <laughs> well, even if I do decide to do it, Pop, that doesn't give me much time, you know. You got nine months. Sometimes you don't need that. <laughs> you need at least nine months unless you're a rabbit. <laughs> no, you don't. What about that, that girl, that Peterson girl that married that guy from Chicago? They wasn't married but four months. And then wham, boom a loom, bam. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Listen, son, do it. I always wanted me a grandbaby. And I want you to have one, Pop. It's just that I don't want to go rushing into something that I'm going to be sorry for later. You won't be sorry. There's nothing like having somebody home where you can come home to them and sit down with them, and eat with them, and sleep with them, and sit around the table counting money with them. I'm not getting married, man. I'm not ready to give up my freedom. Well, are you ready to give up some of your teeth? <laughs> you get married. I'm not getting you get married. married. I'm not getting married. You've got to get married. I don't have to get married. Look, look Pop, there's a million things that I want to do, man. I want to have adventure and, oh. and travel. Oh. I want to have girlfriends. There's plenty of time for girlfriends after you get married. <laughs> Hey, Pop, something's burning in the oven. <laughs> hey, that's it, Pop. I, I decided, man, I'm not getting married. But what about the $7,000? The money doesn't count, man. When I get married, it's gonna be for love, not money. Well, what about a compromise? Love of money. Do you know what you're asking me to do? You're asking me to sell myself for $7,000. No, I ain't. You have to sell yourself. 
Just rent it out for a little while. <laughs> Look, Pop, it's not that I'm against marriage. It's just that I want to wait for the right girl to come along. Well, when is that going to happen? I don't know. I'd go out with a lot of girls, but the girls that you go out with aren't necessarily the ones you want to marry. Look, you married Mom because she was your perfect girl. I mean, she was warm and wonderful and wise. And, and working. <laughs> Don't worry, Pop. I'll, I'll find her sooner or later. Better sooner than later. You know, you only got nine months. You ain't Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Lamont! That dummy. <laughs> Staying out all night. Didn't even tell nobody where he's taking the truck. Could have had an accident. Could be dead. If he ain't dead, I'll kill him. It's my only son. My only truck. <laughs> Hello, operator. Uh, uh, give me, give me the police. Uh, police. Is this the Bureau of Missing Son uh, uh, person? Yeah. yeah, I'm looking for my son, Lamont. Yeah, yeah, L L Lamont. You what? You got a guy that don't know who he is? <laughs> well, well, ask him, is he Lamont? <laughs> he don't know if he's Lamont. Well, does he know if he's black? <laughs> he isn't? Well, won't make no difference who he is. <laughs> Uh, hold on just a minute. <laughs> Lamont, where are you going? Staying out all night. Hey, man, what are you so upset about? Pop, you knew where I was. Now, didn't you find a note I left you on the kitchen table? A note? I gave it to the milkman. <laughs> you mean you didn't read it? No, I gave it to the milkman. He read it. Even Elsie the cow knows where you're going before I do. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pop. Yeah, leave me here in my solitary confinement. What if I'd had one of my big ones? Then who would take me to the hospital? Papa, I, I know the milkman <laughs> in the back of his truck, squeezed between the cottage cheese and the prune yogurt. I'm sorry, Papa. I, I, just, I just spent the last 12 hours with a sensitivity group exploring each other's inner feelings. Inner what? Feelings. You see, the group feels that people don't touch each other enough, and it, and it makes them uptight, and they get high blood pressure and, and ulcers. Well, that's the dumbest thing I've heard of. Now, what if I'm walking down the street and I walk over to some nice, pretty girl and start touching her all over. Well, what do I tell the police? Uh, well, officer, I, I was trying not to get an ulcer. No, that's not how it works at all, Pop. You see, everybody in the group touches and wants to be touched. You see, it makes us feel like we're brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters touching? They got a word for that. Insects. <laughs> Hey, Pop, it's just a nice group of people made up of blacks, whites, a Chinese. You touched a Chinaman? <laughs> yes, Pop. I chew our neighbors in the group also. Son, why do you go around touching all these weirdos? Hey, Pop, you need this group more than I do. I need that group? I need that group like President Nixon needs a tape deck. <laughs> Hey, Pop, you don't get along with nobody, man. You're always arguing and fighting with people. I do not. Yes, you are. You argue with me. I do not. You argue with Skillet. I don't. You argue with Leroy. I never argue with Leroy. Since when? Since he stopped speaking to me. <laughs> See, we had this big argument. And first thing he said was I was arguing all the time. That figures, because you're always arguing and fighting with people. And you know why? Because you're stubborn. Who's stubborn? You are. When is the last time you gave in to somebody? 1942. <laughs> I gave in to your mama. And that was a big mistake. Why? What happened? You. <laughs> yeah, I like the hat, but I like the card better. All right, keep the card, and I'll take the hat back. No, you give me the hat, and you take the card. You don't believe it. I bought it, didn't I? Yeah, but you didn't read it. Of course I read it. But you didn't believe That's it. That's what you think. That's what you You're think. You're never satisfied. And you ain't got no fear. And you ain't got no gratitude. I never heard you say thank you. OK? Thank you. OK. <laughs> And you know, this 
is the best looking hat I ever owned. But I like the card. <laughs> and the hat. <laughs> well, that hat ain't for every day, you know. I know that. If you're wearing that hat when it starts to rain, Pop, I want you to take it off. Take it off in the rain? That's right. <laughs> It'll get spots and you'll have a speckle hat. But if I take it off in the rain, I'll catch cold. A cold you can get rid of in three days. A speckle hat you'll have forever. <laughs> I guess you're right. Of course. Hey, man, we better start getting ready. Getting ready? Yeah, we going out tonight. What for? What for? The hat's only half the present, man. I'm taking you out tonight. You are? Sure. You're 65 today, Pop, and I'm gonna take you out instead of some chick. Now, you know, me and you don't go out together no more. Why is that? Because I'm 65 and I ain't no chick. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna take you out for a drink, then I'm gonna take you to a movie that you need a reservation for, and then we go going to dinner. But well, I'm gonna wear my new hat. Cause it don't look like no rain. Yeah, you can wear your new hat, but I want you to put on a suit, a shirt, and a tie. I gotta put on a shirt and a tie. Pop, when you go out in style, you wear a suit, a shirt, and a tie. Well, okay. Well, you got enough gas in the pickup? No, we ain't taking no broken down truck on this date. We going out high style, Pop. We going in a taxi. A taxi? <laughs> in a taxi? Yeah, that's right. I mean, we going in a taxi? Imagine that, taking a taxi and ain't even nobody going to the hospital. <laughs> what? I want my breakfast. I can't hear you. I said I want my breakfast. Would you wait a minute? Now, what is all of this yelling about? I'm yelling about my breakfast. You can make it supper now. Would you just... <laughs> Would you just take it easy now? I was upstairs making the beds, Pop, and I only got two hands. I'm doing the best I can. Well, I ain't got but one stomach, and I ain't doing too good. <laughs> Say, wait a minute. Listen, you go out and see if the paper been delivered? Yeah. Say, wait a minute. What paper? We don't get no paper. We cancel our subscription, remember? Well, the people next door get a paper, and I read it first. <laughs> Listen, I'm not gonna steal somebody else's newspaper for you. That's not stealing. I just get it, read it, fold it back up, and put it back in front of the house. Well, what about that Life magazine I found laying around here with our neighbor's address on it? Now, that's stealing. <laughs> it sure is, and I'm not gonna go out there and steal somebody else's paper for you. That's right. I don't need nothing. I might as well be dead. <laughs> Why'd you leave me there to die when I fell off that truck? Because you wasn't hurt bad enough to die. <laughs> All you had was a severe attack of clumsiness. Clumsiness? <laughs> is that sudden stop you made trying to duck that cat? You know I was on the back of that truck trying to hold on to that junk? How many times do I have to tell you, Pop? Now, the cat ran in the street, and I jammed on the brake so I wouldn't hurt him. Yeah, save a cat and kill your father. <laughs> that was instinct, Pop. What would you have done? Well, the first place I thought to myself, it's either the cat or my father. Then I'd ask myself two questions. Can the cat cook? <laughs> Can the cat do coordinating in the junkyard? No. Okay, cat, you die. Now, you love cats and you know it, Pop. You wouldn't have done that. And besides, it's better this way. You're both alive. Yeah, I'm all busted up and that cat somewhere happy in the garbage can. Listen, do you want your breakfast or do you want to keep talking this nonsense? I want my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's the least you can do for me, cat lover. Now that's another thing we got to talk about, Pop. It's not going to work this way. What? Me doing all the housework and taking care of you. What's going to happen to the business? Oh, you want me to go back to work, huh? Me with one leg and one arm. Oh, Fred, the cripple coordinator. I don't want you to go back to work, Pop, but I, I got to get back to work. I got to get back on that truck. And leave me here to die? That what you want? OK, and prop me up in front of the TV. That's all you do. That's a good way to go, sitting there watching Days of Our Lives. <laughs> Would you stop this and listen to me? Now, I'm not going to leave you here alone. I called up on Ethel and asked if she'd come over and help us out. Ethel? I don't want her around here. She's a lousy cook, and her hands are sweaty. <laughs> Would you let me finish, Pop? Now, Aunt Ethel can't make it. So I called the employment agency, and I asked them if they'd send us over a housekeeper. You mean a maid? <laughs> Somebody that does housework, all the stuff that I've been doing, so I can get back to work. 
You mean you're gonna leave me here with a strange woman? Well, what's wrong with that? Well, what if she's a sex maniac? <laughs> I wouldn't worry about that if I were you. Oh, you don't think it happened, huh? Me being chased around the house by some weirdo. <laughs> it could happen, all right, but you'd be the one doing the chasing. <laughs> well, I don't care. I don't want nobody around here anyhow. No maids. All right, then I got one other suggestion. What? You go into a nursing home. A nursing home? Well, if you don't want to have to see me no more, then send me to a nursing home. What are you talking about? You don't know about nursing homes? They mean that nursing home. That's right. Sam Turner's father was in one. He told me. He told you what? He told me them nurses mean. He asked the nurse to help him to the bathroom, and every day he'd ask to help him to the bathroom, and she got mad one night and took him in the bathroom and beat him up. <laughs> oh, come on, Pop. That's right. And now, the only time he go to the bathroom is when his son comes to visit him. <laughs> Once a week. <laughs> Sunday. Between two and four. <laughs> and you go, you go, you go.